I really did antagonize over this part for absolutely ages, knowing that no matter what I said, I wouldn't be able to get across how much I respect and adore this woman. I know everyone says it's about their own relationship, but no one knows love like ours. Millie, this is your day, and I can honestly say that I've never seen you looking more beautiful, radiant, and happy. But just where did this vision of beauty that we see before us today come from? Millie, from an early age, had an extraordinary appetite for risk, whether climbing trees or skiing. Head girl at Hazel Grove and a scholarship to Millfield followed, and we thought her appetite for risk had mellowed until the day she mentioned that she'd been to Showcase and seen a chap called Matt Ward dancing. Now picture the scene, one evening midweek, I ask Millie, I invite her out on a walk on the Millfield campus. I have something to tell her. And I turned to her and I said, Millie, I know you're going to think this is far too soon, but I love you so much. And I have loved you since the day I met you. And to my surprise, she said she loved me too. Matt and Millie have been pretty much inseparable ever since and still find each other almost impossibly amusing. Matt has become a central member of our family, a brother to Chloe and very much a son to Lou and I. I remember when Matt and Millie first got engaged, you think, oh, I wonder who Matt's going to choose as his best man. So it gets you thinking, well, who is Matt's best mate? And it doesn't take you long to realise millions. Matt has so many amazing friends, such a variety of friends as well. He's so popular, he's so well liked. But in those special moments, when there's one person you can share that moment with, that is always going to be Millie. You two are the most incredible couple. You are incredible partners to one another and you're also best, best friends. I genuinely think that every single person in this room can use you two as inspiration for the type of relationship that they should have. I've actually grown up with Matt and Millie's relationship. Um, I was just 14 when I first met Mill Dog. And I now weirdly base my idea of love on what they have for each other. They're the best of friends, and I've always thought that everyone needs someone like the Matt to our Millie. Beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Camilla and Matthew, to ask his blessing on them and to share in their joy. Camilla, I give you this ring. Camilla, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Camilla, will you take Matthew to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and protect him? And forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I will. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Millie, you look absolutely stunning today. Thank you for pouring your heart into today and making it so incredible. You have worked so hard. You make me a better person every day, and you really are my best friend. You're probably wondering why you got that Jägermeister in front of you. Millie and I, we got engaged in Val d'Isère. Our favorite restaurant out there was Le Poudfesh. And every meal, we used to go weekly, 
an eccentric German chap would come out and drop on our table a big old bottle of Jägermeister. And each time he would say, do your worst. So towards the end of the season, Millie did her worst. She slipped her skis on and I watched from her distance her go down the notoriously hard FAS, one of the hardest runs in the whole of Europe. And I just saw her drop off the side of this cliff edge. She stood up, she handed me her skis and she said, I think my season is done. So the untamable, wild-eyed five-year-old that Freddie once described as totally and utterly deranged has found her lifelong dance partner and we couldn't be happier for both of you. Be kind to each other. Don't stop laughing at each other's jokes, however lame, and let love be your guide. So now, ladies and gentlemen, if you would please be upstanding for the most amazing, most gorgeous, the funniest, kindest, most special couple, the new Mr. and Mrs. Ward, Matt, Matt and Goody! Goody!